if you are who's who with church, then what that means, of course, is in order for you to remain a who's who, cream of the crop, head above the rest, the place that's got it going on, then that means you have to stay in the good graces of the emperor. Uh-huh. You see, that means that, that at no cost can you risk your seat at the table. Uh-huh. And, and so as a result of wanting to make sure that you'll always get the right calls and the right invitations, uh-huh, which you say you want because it will benefit the people, uh-huh, then that means that, that slowly you begin to compromise. It's called the big C. It, it, it's called compromise. Compromise, And so what that means is that with one hand, you're holding on to God, and on the other hand, you're squeezing the life out of the government. Y'all won't help me in here. But I came to say, what is wrong with us? As Bishop pointed out last week, these letters are not addressed to churches that were confined to that era, but this is a word from the Lord Jesus to churches in every generation. Just as there are personality types, like with the Myers-Briggs, there are 16 personality types. And, and so that means that even though there are more than 16 of us in this room, if we took the exam, we would, uh, took the test, we would end up all kind of being grouped in these, in these categories, 16. That means that there are seven, there are seven churches, seven letters, there are seven types these churches represent the types of churches that have existed in every era. And so all you got to do is really just try the shoes on of a church to find out which one is you. Let me suggest to you, the shoe that you feel a little pinch in, that's yours. Okay, now I can't get no help in here. There are churches in the state of New Jersey. There are churches in Essex County. There are churches in Union County. There are churches in Middlesex and Ocean County and Monmouth County. There are churches that are alive, that look alive in terms of their portfolio and their press releases. But according to Jesus, they are not alive, but they are dead. And dead because they have compromised with the government. And I did say government. Now, See, this is what we do. The church goes running, running after government dollars and tries to decide how it will do its ministry. Let me suggest to you that upon this rock, Jesus said he would build his church and the gates of hell would not prevail against it. See, yeah. But our mistake has been that we allow our passion and our direction for ministry to be informed by how much money the government will release. The church is not to be the servant of federal money. The church is not the servant of state money. This is the Lord's church. Now say yes to that. Yeah. 
The last thing I knew, the government was not on the shoulders of Chris Christie, nor Barack Obama, but the government is on the shoulders of the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, Friday morning star, Mary's baby. Yeah.